Good morning. I hope you're all well. I just randomly woke up this fine morning, early November, and decided that I was going to film a morning routine. The last time I filmed a morning routine video was about two years ago, and a lot has changed ever since. But there are a couple of things which is still the same, and a lot otherwise has changed. So I thought I wanted to share that with you. I wake up in the morning anywhere between 5 or 6. I'm a big snoozer. I set my alarm for 5, half 5 and 5.45 as well and it snoozes a lot of times in between. So whenever I am able to wake up is when I wake up. The first thing I do obviously is brush my teeth, wash my face and then I go and make my bed. On this day, um, I was home alone with Levi because Lakshman is away travelling for work. So I got up and made the bed on my own and set things right. This is one of the things that I have to do first thing in the morning, brush my teeth and secondly make my bed. Otherwise, I will not be able to rest in peace or do anything else knowing that my bed is messy and it's not tidy for me. And now that it's getting cold and dark and much earlier in the evening, I've gotten to the habit of sitting in my bed doing some work on my laptop. Therefore, I gather a lot of stuff by my bedside table which I need to clear off the next morning. Once I do all of those things, I sit with my skincare um, bag to get ready for the day. This is something that I bought from Amazon last year or probably even the year before and it's been so helpful. While Levi was still in our room up till he was about 13 months old, I just couldn't get ready in the morning in my room nor could I get ready outside quite easily. I had a lot of stuff in the drawers and it was difficult to carry everything out and I needed to get ready while I had Levi with me most of the time as in if he's playing in the living room, I had to be with him. Or if he's sleeping in the bedroom, I couldn't get ready in my bedroom. I had to go outside to get ready. So I was looking for a solution and this was the best solution that I came up with. I had to have everything in a makeup pouch which I was easily able to carry around with me wherever I needed. And I wanted something that would retain its shape and this one is perfect. It does the job so well, keeps everything in different compartments, has a compartment for uh, face brushes and all of those stuff and it's really really sturdy. I'll leave a link for you down in the description box if you're ever interested because a lot of people who've seen this have always asked me for where I got it from. It's probably a bit more bulkier than what I would like for the things that I have but because of the compartments and how sturdy it is, it's completely worth it. Once my skincare is all done, I go and pick my clothes for the day. In the past, I used to have a schedule as to what I'm going to wear every day so I don't have to waste any brain power fasting in the morning. But now my routine has changed a lot, so I'm not able to really schedule for the week or the month ahead. But I have a small section of clothes that I wear for casual wear, different section for Sundays and different section for um, workwear so it's so much more easier to get dressed in the morning. Once I'm dressed I go and get myself um, a hot drink because it's getting cold now. This one thing has not changed. I have not been very very diligent in this um, every single day but I'm getting back into the hang of it. Two years ago when I did my previous morning routine, I also spoke about how I spend time reading the Bible and praying and meditating. Two years later now, this is still one of my priorities first thing in the morning. You know you can differentiate things in your life as negotiable and non-negotiable. And this is definitely the non-negotiable category for me. I have to spend time with God in the morning. I need to pray, I need to read the word, and I need to be able to have realigned myself for the day, to set the day right for me. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to find time during the day to do all of these things. One of the things that I do slightly differently now while I'm meditating is I have a prayer journal or a reading journal. In the past, I never did this. I always had my phone next to me and I always had my notes on my phone itself but I found that that was very very distracting. 
So I put my phone away. I don't even carry my phone with me when I come out to the living room to pray in the morning. I have a journal now where I physically write. My handwriting is terrible now because I hardly ever write. Everything is either typing on the laptop, on a computer or on the phone. But not having my phone on me in the morning has made a whole world of a difference for me now. If you haven't categorized everything in your life as negotiable or non-negotiable, this will be something worth doing. List out all the things that you do in the morning if you're rushing for time then see what is important and what is not important for you what is it that you have to prioritize that day and put it down in your list to do in the morning especially and it'll make a whole world of a difference I woke up slightly late this morning so I didn't really have so much time to do anything right after my prayer I just switched on my work laptop because I was going to be working from home that day and I went to pick Levi up because it's already 7 in the morning and I need to wake him up at that hour. He wakes up anywhere between half 6 to 7. Sometimes he wakes up on his own, sometimes I wake him up. He's 18 months old in this video and he's got all of his own personality and everything. Sometimes he's super cheerful when he wakes up, sometimes he's very very grumpy. First thing we do when he wakes up is get his milk and he wants to do everything by himself. He wants to pick up the milk bottle, he wants to close the lid, he wants to put it back in the fridge. If possible, if he could reach the microwave, he would want to put his cup in the microwave and heat it up by himself. But he's at that age where he is so excited to try new things and different things and wants to see everything that we are doing. And he's also gotten into this habit of having cheese every single morning as soon as he wakes up. He needs to have his cheese along with his milk. And that's his favorite corner in the sofa. When I pick him up, I give him his cup of milk, I give him his cheese and I put him in the corner of his sofa and he will happily eat it while I put away dishes and chat with him. This is probably the only uh, five minutes or less that I get to do any work while he's awake. Otherwise, he's extra clingy and he wants to be with me or he wants me to be with him all the time. It's just their growth and development at that age and it's completely normal. Sometimes he can be super independent and sometimes he can be extra, extra clingy and it's perfectly all right. This morning, somehow, he was so independent. He was in such a good mood and he was very cheerful playing on his own. I even managed to get some laundry done in the morning and that is very very rare for me to be able to do that while he is happily chatting and talking to me. I managed to get the laundry done and I managed to fold some clothes too. After his milk and cheese, we go into the bathroom to brush his teeth. This again, sometimes can be a battle, sometimes he is very very cooperative with it. This morning was a bit of both, not too bad at all, but still. Um, I would prefer to brush his teeth so much more better than I am able to, but because it's so difficult, anything will just do at the moment. And when I get him dressed, I always give him something to play with. I have a couple of toys that I swap around all the time. Today, his toy of choice was that little giraffe that he's always been attached to. He loves chatting. He loves talking. He's able to, you know, um, call the names and all of those stuff. So he enjoys playing with different things every day. And I always make it a point to give him his multivitamins in the morning. Ever since Levi has started nursery, he comes back with some sort of viruses every other week. So I've started him on the multivitamin. It's not um, excellent, I want to say, as in it doesn't completely stop him from falling sick, but it definitely has boosted his immune system and that's very helpful. Just like how the sofa is his favorite corner to sit and eat his snacks or his um, super early breakfast or first breakfast rather, the armchair is a place where he gets on to sit and put his shoes on. He knows where he has to sit to put on stuff. We don't wear shoes inside the house, 
So he has to always sit in that armchair, which is the closest to the entrance and the closest to where his shoes and socks always is. And he'll try and get on that armchair until I put on the shoes. It looks as if it's so quick and easy to put on his socks and shoes for him, but it's always a constant battle. Like I said, he wants to do everything by himself. He attempts to put on the socks, he attempts to put on the shoes, and he gets frustrated if I help him or rather interrupt him. According to him, it is interrupting. So I just sit there, let him do what he wants to do, and be patient. And putting on his jacket is also another fun ride. Usually, I drop Levi off at nursery and I go into my office for work. On this day, I was expecting a delivery, so I had to be working from home. So I got back home and then I took some multivitamins myself. I have a couple that I take in the morning and a couple that I take in the evening. Ever since Levi has been falling sick, he's been passing it on to Lakshman and me very, very easily. And I've been falling sick a lot. My immune system has compromised in the last two years. So I need to take my own vitamins. It's just standard simple ones that I got. It's a multivitamin from Asta. And another one is a vitamin C which is chewable. I then go to my work desk with my cup of tea and water and start my work day. This is it for my morning routine. This is my solo morning routine so I don't get to do a lot more other personal stuff in the morning. But other than that, one of the things that I will never never forget or negotiate is prayer in the morning. It sets the tone right for the day. I said this two years ago and I will say it in two years time again. Starting your morning right is so important for setting the day right for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you find it beneficial. See you again in the next one. Have a blessed day, whatever it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm.